Okay guys, it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, and since I can't possibly make as many of these signs as people have asked, I thought I would do a quick tutorial and show you guys how I make them, and share all my secrets. Any, um, I mean, it's pretty obvious by looking at what I did, but I'm gonna show you step by step how I went through it. So um, to make these, I actually used cedar plank, cedar plank fence boards. Um, they are one by sixes, and I cut the, Winnie obviously is a little bit taller, so I cut her at 30 and the other two, <laughs> the other two a little bit shorter. Um, so, obviously to get started, I'm gonna use my peach color and just paint their faces. Um, and you guys, if you don't have this skin color and you have orange, just use orange and white and water it down or lighten it up because that's what I did actually for the very first one I made as I just added a whole lot of orange. I'm going to do them about just that much. And since it's so light, um, so I mean, you don't have to be exact. And since the color is so light, the other paints will go right over it. So again, just about five inches from the top, and you can probably go down as low as you want. Because I got so many orders for these, I went ahead and just bought um, big things of paint in each color that I would use. The next step, now that I have all those painted, is I'm gonna take my black, and for the I Smell Children that goes across the front, over here, <laughs> Um, I used a skinny cedar plank, so it's a one by four, um, and I cut them at 16 and a half inches wide, and that goes across the three sisters. So, and as I told you guys before, I love these brushes, um, so I use these a lot. I like these and the foam one, if you remember from my other videos. And this, I didn't want full coverage because I'm going to stain the edges. So I wanted just kind of a rustic, dirty brushed look. Because I'm going to go through and add stain to the edges on this. Okay, so I'm going to let these, I'm going to put these in the sun to dry and wash my brushes and I'll come back with the next step. Okay, so I'm going to start with Winnie first. Um, so I got my orange paint and when I think of her hair, I think of the top of a heart um, on the top and the bottom. So find your, find your middle spot and kind of make a top of a heart. Her hair is kind of um, curly and wiry, so try and give it a, make it a, wiggle your wrist a little and try and give it that not super smooth edge. can't paint super great. <laughs> I'm used to painting on um, a flat surface, not propping it up with my hand. So sorry it's taking me a little long. like that. Sarah's hair is super easy, straight, 
I add a little bit of wave to it, but very easy. Um, I part of hers on the side, so I kind of give it a sweep over. And I have to find that part. Give it a wave up. hers go but go really quickly and you guys I know they look kind of blah now but when we go back with the lines and stuff that's when they really kind of pop out a little bit more okay for Mary she's got her messy bun with the curly Q on top so when I'm doing hers I always start with that on the left side And you guys, each one of these is hand painted. Um, so they're not gonna be exactly the same. They're all gonna be a little bit different. She kinda has scraggly bangs, messy, no real rhyme or reason where they come in. So that's what I do for her. Kinda just messy and she's kind of a hot mess. Now I'm just going to give her some round at the top to give her that bun. The first time I did this, I did kind of sketch it out um, on how I wanted to do it. I've made so many that I just can kind of freehand it pretty good now. So really, there's, like I said, no two are the same. And as long as you get this general look, you're gonna be fine. It's gonna look great. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let these dress, oh, actually, I can just go ahead and paint their dresses right now. One sec. Okay, so when I do their dresses, typically I like to have one kind of easier to control brush and then one of these big ones to do the majority of it. Um, for Mary, I gave her a rounded neck so I can just use um, the one brush and get away with doing her whole outfit. So, got my red. And she's kind of heavier, so um, that's why I went with the round, full coverage look. Sarah obviously has the lower cut dress, and Winnie has the more, um, I don't know, V-neck. I'm just babbling at this point. Okay, so I got a round neck on there. Okay guys, and I'm gonna get, share one of my little secrets um, that I do. Maybe you can tell by looking at them what I do. Once I get this all painted, I'm gonna squirt uh, another color, a deeper red on here, and kind of rub that in 
I like that because it just gives it, um, so it's not one solid color. It kind of gives it some, I don't know, dimension or something. It's just my personal preference on how. So, I just am using a little acrylic paint. This is more of a maroon. And I am just gonna squirt it on there like that. And you don't wanna rub it in too much because then it'll just, the whole thing will kind of become a different color. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. So I don't know, it's hard to see right now, but it just kind of gives it more of a not so solid one color look. And then I'm gonna move on and do Sarah's dress. And I'm just gonna use this brush and mix it with the purple, and it's gonna give her dress some dimension. Okay. For her top, I am gonna have to go back. Can you guys, it's hard to see, but I don't know if you can tell <laughs> what I mean, but it just, so it's not one blah purple. It's kind of, prettier. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little bit more detailed brush and do her neckline. So for her, like I said, I wanted to have her straps come down and then kind of give it a deeper cut look. struggling with this one-handed holding thing. And same as the hair, you guys, it looks kind of blah now, but when we go back with the white and black, simple details and shadows, it's really gonna make their outfits look like dresses. Okay. So now for Winnie, my green and I use two brushes with her as well so I'm gonna get the majority of it okay so also on her she has that high collar cape um, so that's where I start with her dress. Give it a good slant in. Start high, kind of a, make a V, but I don't have the V touch. I stop a little before the middle. Come down. Oops. If you mess up, you just move higher up. Okay. And then I go down a little bit, and then I give it another V. And you don't have to do that, that's just how I decided I wanted her to look. V, same thing on the other side now. thing I had so many messages some people were asking me what colors did I use and what type there is no right or wrong really um I've actually for the first um, 10 signs I did I used one green before I had gone and gotten um, the quartz of them and so they're a little bit different shade but really it doesn't matter at all okay so I have her dress on there and I'm gonna take kind of a bright, um, lighter green. This is kind of an olivey green. And just squirt that on there and rub it in. But don't rub too much, otherwise you just change the whole color of her dress. 
kind of see this one a little bit better than the red on why I like to do that. Okay, I'm pressing real softly because I don't want to rub it in. So you can kind of see. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry and wash my brushes and I'll come back for the next step. Okay, the next step is to sand, stain, and attach them. Okay, so now it's time to attach it. Um, so I use wood glue and pin nails. I'm going to use two pieces to attach it. One will actually be the um, one with the saying on the front. We'll use this as an attaching plate. Right there. Okay. Flip it over. Switch those. Then we'll put one on the top. Like so. Alrighty, so we're almost done. Um, we just have three steps left. Um, but this next step I think is probably the most important because at this point it just kind of looks like wah wah. Um, so we're just going to add lines, um, black and white lines, and it's going to just simple straight lines. Um, and it's just going to add shape to their hair and to their dresses. So kind of use a fine detailed paintbrush. Um, and I'll just start, again I'm I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, so for her, for Mary, just simple lines kind of around her hair so it's not so just big and black. Okay, just like that. And for her dress, And you guys, there's no right or wrong. This is just how I'm doing it. You can do it any way you see fit. For Winnie, I'm gonna kind of give her that wiry texture, waves, and then. And seriously, you guys, I'm just making straight lines. Oops, I have glue coming down at the bottom. I gotta wipe that up in a sec. <laughs> Sorry, you can't really see her very well. That's what I got. I forgot Winnie's dress, the bottom part, so I gotta go back. I'm not great at this video stuff. I'm working on it. Just a variety of X's to give it that lace look. Okay, where's the leg? Okay, and now I'm going to go back and do black. I'm just kind of right next to the white ones.
quick and simple. The more perfect you try and make it, I really believe the more shaky it's gonna look and more forced. I gotta wipe my glue again, but there you go. You can see how it kind of changed the whole sign just by adding those lines. Okay, next step is going to seal them for outdoor protection because I imagine most of you want to put these on your patio. Um, so I use this by Minwax. It's a polyacrylic. Um, however, they've been bought out, so you have to buy um, Verathane, I think bought them out so I won't find this exact one anymore. Okay and I just used one of these big brushes to seal it. And it also makes it look a lot more brighter in color. Make the colors pop a lot more. After this, guys, there's just one more step, and that is to tie on the bow. I used raffia, and I used it in um, the straw color, and then I also add a little bit of red at the end. And again, just uh, something I did to add a little bit of pop and color. Sometimes I think it's all in the tiny details. Okay. I should probably wait until it's done drying, but I'm just gonna put the ribbon on there and tie it so we can wrap this video up. So again, because I'm doing lots of these, I bought this jumbo pack of raffia. Um, so I get about three strands or so. And sometimes they come in really thick pieces, so I like to break them up so they're not so thick. Um, so about this much. Sorry, I can't hold the phone. <laughs> hold it up. But I wrap it around and knot it on here. Just like that. Then... I'm in a video right now. Do you want to wave? <laughs> it's over here. Um, so then I just add a little bit of red. Now my red. Just wait. Uh, my red isn't as long, so I don't want to tie it around. So I'm just going to tie it onto my knot real quick. And then. Just a sec, I said. Then I'm going to make a bow. So then I'm going to put some hot glue right there to hold that bow in place, you guys. And that's how I make this sign.